Mistral AI just released Pixtral 12 billion. This is the first ever multimodal Mistral model. And you can see it was released just yesterday on 17 September 2024. This 12 billion Pixtral model is natively multimodal, which is trained with interleaved image and text data. It has strong performance on multimodal task, excels in instruction following. It maintains state of the art performance on text only benchmarks. And this is the architecture 400 million parameters vision encoders trained from scratch, 12 billion parameter multimodal decoder based on Mistral Nemo. It supports variable image sizes and aspect ratios, and it supports multiple images in the long context window of 128K tokens. So whatever images that you want to put, it should be within the 128K tokens. Now you can use it through different ways, but one of the ways of using it is on the late chat. So this is a platform where we need to uh, sign in and then you can ask questions here. We have different models here. So I've selected Pixtral model since today we're working on Pixtral. We will go through this model. I uh, will test it out here, but let's look at the properties first. Now Pixtral is trained to understand both natural language and documents. It achieves 52.5% on the MMMU reasoning benchmark. And you can see all these benchmarks. I don't really trust the benchmarks, but we'll see for ourselves uh, what sort of a model we are dealing with here. But looking at the multimodal knowledge and reasoning, we see mixed, we see Pixtrel 12 billion uh, stands on the top. Then on the Mad Vista, we have Pixtrel 12 billion. In the multimodal QA, we have different benchmarks, and you can see it is good. It stands uh, uh, on the Dog VQA uh, with Llama OV7 billion. And on the VQA V2, it stands at par with Llama OV. Then on the instruction following multimodal and text, we see it outperforms the other models. Now for the text understanding science, math and code, we see that it outperforms on different benchmarks. But let's not get too bogged down on the benchmarks. Uh, we see the evaluation criteria. Uh, we reevaluate on a range of open and closed head models to the same evaluation harness. And that's okay. We see that these are the closed source models and these are open source models. We can see the closed source models are pretty good, but it is able to give some competition uh, staying at the open source front. Now, uh, with respect to the instruction following, it again performs very well, but uh, we don't trust the benchmarks. We will see it for ourselves. So we have the variable image size. They simply passed images through the vision encoder at the native resolution and aspect ratio, converts them into image tokens for the 16 cross 16 patch. And then they flatten to create a sequence with image break and image end tokens placed between the rows and at the end of the image. So Pixtrel can be used to accurately understand complex diagrams, which we will see in just a second. The final architecture is that it has two parts, the vision encoder, which tokenizes image and the multimodal transformer decoder, which predicts the next token uh, given a sequence of text and images. So it is able to work with text as always, but it is also able to work with images and which is pretty good. So some of the examples that we the depth given is uh, reasoning over complex figures. Say we have a figure here and the question is list the top five countries in Europe with the highest GDP. So we are talking about Europe and but just by looking at that, we can see that the Europe is in the green color. And from this portion of the graph, we need or the picture, we need to find the highest, the, the top most countries in Europe. So we can see that Germany should stand on the top. So we have Germany, then we have UK and France. So Germany, UK, France, that's pretty good. Next should be Italy and then it should be Spain. Italy and Spain, that's pretty perfect. Then understanding chart, understanding and analysis. So we have this chart. So when did things start to go wrong for Dark Dragon? So Dark Dragon 50 is on this red part. And you can see visually that somewhere near the 10K margin, uh, the error increases. So the response is the image is a line graph uh, titled train loss. So this is a loss diagram, the training loss, and this shows the training loss over steps for four different models. And the x-axis represents the steps ranging from 0 to 60k. That's perfect. And the y-axis represents the loss of logarithmic scale from 1 e to the power minus 5 to e to the power plus 5. 
to determine when things go wrong for Dark Dragon 50, we need to look at the red line representing the model. Initially, the loss decreases, indicating that the model is learning effectively. However, around the 10k uh, step mark, the loss starts to spike significantly. This spike indicates that a model performance is deteriorating. The loss continues to spike and fluctuate, reaching very high values, which suggests that this model is not learning effectively and is likely overfitting or encountering other issues. And that is pretty great. So we have uh, the loss going struggling, really struggling for Dark Dragon around the 10k mark. Next we have the multi-image instruction following. So on the top we have these multi-model benchmarks for different models. And on the bottom we have different models. Now we want to combine information in both the tables into a single markdown table. Now what it does is that uh, it takes all the models it combines the rows of both the tables and gives you a single table and this is pretty interesting and good image to code uh, although it's not really designed for this but we have this image and we ask it to write html code it gives the html code and once we put that code and run it we get this and this should work we will test it out natural scene understanding is this person really big or is this building just super small? The response is, the image shows a person holding a thumb in front of the leaning tower of Pisa, making it appear as if the thumb is really large than the tower. This creates an optical illusion, making the tower seem smaller than it actually is. In reality, the leaning tower of Pisa is large, an iconic structure, and the person's thumb is not really, not nearly as large as it appears in the image. The purpose of this photo is to demonstrate the impressive height and size of the tower by comparing it to a familiar object such as a thumb. So it's able to recognize that it's an optical illusion here. Now how to run Pixtrel? We have different options. The first is lay chat. We can go here and ask questions. We can add photos which we'll see in just a second. We have La Platforme and here we can go and ask, we can go through the API route and ask and make API calls. We can also use the Mistral inference. We can just uh, install this Mistral inference and you can use it in Python. But uh, that is, this model is about 50 GB and you can use this if you really want. VLLM is another great option to inference to, uh, easily the models and you can use this to run the models as well. Now I'm going to go through the first one, lay chat, and let's ask a few questions. So first of all, let me add some image here. So let me add this image and ask, what do you see? So the image feature a person holding a large sign that reads Pixtrel 12 Pixtra 1, 12 billion, 12 billion. The person has long wavy hair, is wearing dark clothing. The background appears to be vibrant urban setting with various lights and signs suggesting a nightlife or entertainment distinct. The person's face is partially obscured by the sign and they're looking at the camera. The overall atmosphere in the image is lively and dynamic. Okay, pretty good. Next image is let's go to a graph and let's ask questions on the graph. So I've given this image and I wanted to ask if it is able to extract data. Let's ask uh, how many apples that combine uh, Susan and Seth consume. Okay. How many apples did Susan and Seth consume? So we go here and say how many apples did Susan and Seth consumed? So it should be able to extract uh, the data, perform the calculations. So Susan ate uh, seven apples. Is it true? Okay, Susan is seven and Seth ate 14 apples. So total is 21 and that's pretty perfect. That's correct. Next, we can go and upload or before that we can test out other things. Uh, I want to make an HTML uh, write HTML code to create a website like the photo pasted above. Let's see if it is able to write in HTML code. So we are getting some codes. So in the meantime, let me open the Visual Studio Code Editor here. Let me make uh, an index.html. And here we are going to paste in whatever code that we received from this model. So we uh, copy the contents of the model and uh, paste it. I think we can remove this part 
and we can remove this part as well and this should do it so let's go to index.html.com or we'll open it and we see the table forms correctly but not the graph but anyways we'll try some other day with some other example but here we go this is pixel 12 billion and you can try it out on your local system or on the hosted servers of mistral ai so i'll be back with more interesting videos stay subscribed and i'll see you next time